In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to play consistent defense against pretty much anybody that you're going to face in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And this is a great little defense that you can call literally against anything, any formation. It's very balanced, and it's just going to make things a little bit simpler for you on the defensive side of the ball. Now, if you want to learn my full version of this 335 wide defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. Uh, you can get all of my stuff by joining my Patreon for just 10 bucks a month. You're going to get access to literally everything that I have for you uh, in Madden 22. We've got 13 offensive and defensive guides available for you. We've got exclusive tips, pro player film studies, all of that stuff for just 10 bucks a month. And again, if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description of the video. Now, what I want to do here is uh, we're just going to show this against bunch first and then we'll just kind of cover um, you know some other formations as we go but it's really really simple all you're going to do is you're going to go to your audibles or your 335 wide out of the 46 playbook so you're in the 46 playbook you go to the 335 wide formation what you want to do is you want to put the mic blitz 3 in your audibles and then you want to come out in the nickel 335 normal and you want to come out in cover for a drop and what i like to do is put safeties at linebacker if you want to save a step, you could just come out in 3-3-5 wide, Mike Blitz 3, and just call it good. Okay? either It's up to you. Uh, but I like to come out in 3-3-5 because it gives me better personnel, allows me to have better adjustments, cross-manning, stuff like that. So we come out in 3-3-5 normal. And what we're going to do is we're going to audible down to Mike Blitz 3. And then when, once we audible down, I like to go ahead and spread my line, spread my linebackers, crash my line out, and then QB contain. So you see this is what the defense looks like right here. Literally, that's all you do. And what I like to do in, in Mutt is put my purple zones on 5 or 10 yards and put my hooks on 5 yards. And then if you want to put your flats on 30, you could, or you could leave them on default. And what you're going to see here is this pressure is going to consistently come off the edge uh, against, the, against the bunch. Now, if you're facing if you're facing bunch, for example, you don't necessarily have to spread your line, and the reason why is just because it, it you don't have you don't have to, okay. Um, but if you spread your line, what happens is it does help significantly with containing mobile quarterbacks. But as you can see, the pressure is going to come in pretty much regardless of what they do. Now, the cool part about this is if they block their running back from bunch, you're going to be able to get pressure. So if People like to pick this blitz up by just blocking their running back. You just want to stand opposite of the running back, and what you'll see is he's going to loop around the running back every single time for a sack. So what this is going to do is it's going to force them to have to block their tight end. So you see now they block their tight end, and as you can see, it does pick up the pressure, but you're able to keep the quarterback in the pocket, and you're able oftentimes to shed and get you know better pressure in those situations as well. So really what you're able to do with this is you're basically going to use her over the middle of the field and then the defense is going to kind of do a lot of work for you. Literally this is all you have to do and you can do this. Why I like this so much, you can do this against any formation in the game. Literally any formation in the game. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to back out of this and I'm going to come out in another formation that is very popular, trips tight end. Okay, I come out in trips tight end. We audible down, spread your line, crash your line up. You're going to stand in the opposite center gap, just like that. And what you see is we're going to get some pressure, and we're going to be able to lurk over the middle of the field because we have the quick flats taken away. Now, why I like curl flat zones is because on some of those like little slant routes and drag routes that you'll see from time to time, they're going to play fairly decent against those. So you see those little in routes, they're going to kind of carry them to the inside and play fairly effectively against those. If you are, let's say you're playing somebody and they're throwing to the flat a lot, then that's why I like to have my, my flats on default for something like this because then I can just go down, play a hard flat, and have an opportunity to you know, try to get an interception on a route like that. The beauty of this defense is really found in how simple it really is. Literally, just, I mean, crash your lineup. That's it. I like to contain, and the reason I like to contain is because, let's say, for example, that they block their running back. Well, now you have that same concept, right, that loop around the running back. It's one of the best defenses, by the way, for not only trips tight in, but it's also one of the better defenses in the game for a formation like spread wide slot. Why might you ask, is this so good against spread wide slot? Well, it's so good because, again, the running back has to pick up the pressure. So literally, like right here, um, if they block their running back against you, uh, again, it's very simple setup. It's my game glitches here, but you'll see the contain will come right around and you'll get pressure every time. So 
against formations that you don't really know what to do, a lot of times the way people like to pick up pressure is they'll just block their running back. Well, they can't do that against this, so they're going to have to send five out. You see there we actually got some A-gap pressure against against uh, spread. So, you know, again, just simply crash your line out, contain, user this guy right here. If they have a tight end, I would go ahead and do something like that so that they can't roll out. But as you can see, you're going to get pretty good pressure from those contains. So, guys, that's a very simple tutorial. Like I said, I would recommend zone drops. Put your curl flats on 5 or 10. Put your hook curls on 5. And then you can either put your flats on 30 if you want to maybe mix this in with some coverage. Or you could put your flats on default so that in key situations you can play hard flats and really try to pick off some of those slant or some of those flat routes. If you want to learn more, this is just the tip of the iceberg. If you want to learn more about this defense or if you just want to take your game to the next level, I would encourage you to join my Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you're not only going to get access to the 4-6 defensive ebook, but you're going to get access to all 13 of my offensive and defensive ebooks that I've released so far this season. And you're also going to get access to all the exclusive tips, a private messaging platform where you can get your questions at, answered uh, as well. So if you want to join the Patreon, there's a link in the description below. And it's only 10 bucks a month, and you can cancel whenever you'd like. So super cheap for everything that you're going to be getting up front. So again, I would really encourage you to join that Patreon. There's a link in the description of this video if you want to sign up for that. So if you're still watching this and you want to sign up for it, head on down to the description below and uh, check out that Patreon membership link.